Hi there, today I'm going to walk you through how to download Affinity products, specifically Affinity Designer, since that's what we'll be using mostly on this tutorial on your Mac book. So first of first is um, you need to be sure you need to be sure that your Mac operating system is compatible with the recent Affinity Designer, which is 1.9. Point three, and secondly, you also need to ensure that you have enough storage space to accommodate the application on your MacBook. For me, I use a um, I use a MacBook Pro early twenty fifteen with a memory of eight gig and um, a process of two point seven gigahertz. So let's go to the browser and um, search for affinity so when you search for affinity you will find the different products you used to find everything related to affinity and then um, here we go i use um safari as my browser um of late i have come to prefer safari i would usually use chrome but for some reasons best known to me i decided to just go with safari and couple of the fact that i heard it's pretty faster now unlike um some two years back and all of that we click on my browser and usually i would do my search with a new private window and there you are and it's saying private window enabled safari will keep your browser history private okay cancel and let's search affinity affinity designer search so usually what happens is you land on, I think the first search result would be directly on Affinity Designer and a couple of information about the product. And it's so funny that the first release for Affinity Designer is 2014. That's about six years ago. And they are really, really doing great stuff right now. I mean, a whole lot of designers, um, let, let me speak for myself, I intentionally had to do that switch from um, from using Adobe Creative um, Cloud to the Affinity series because Affinity series one is a one-time payment it's um, affordable especially for beginner designers and it also its output also meets um, industry standards and all of that another reason is because for Adobe Designer, I really got tired of having to subscribe every other month and the sad thing is whether money comes in or not, you just have to subscribe. And so what happens at the different times when you aren't working with it? Yeah, I'm aware you will have to, you can, you can pause subscription or something like that, but I really don't have that time to always go to post subscription. I, don't know. I want a situation where if I just want to use my, my software or yeah, my design tool, all I need to do is just click and, and have it at the back of my mind that I have, you know, I have paid for that software one off and I don't have to pay. And the fantastic thing about this is for every update, you get every new update with your one time payment. So is that not fantastic? So both for Affinity Designer, Affinity Photos and Publisher. They are all wonderful um, creative tools. And aside that, if you have these three installed in your system, you also have an option to switch between these different softwares on your laptop on the go while doing work. So that's just pretty amazing. So let's go on and click on the first search results we found here and there you are it's telling us that this is the latest affinity designer version 1.9 yeah version 1. i think i think affinity particularly is on version 1.9.3 so this is what you do you get there you understand what's the tools are all about it gives you more like an insight into what these tools are capable of doing in plain terms and uh, you either click to find out more you either click to find out more and you get to see amazing stuff 
being done with affinity designer so you go back you you choose to buy now it comes with a 14 day money back guarantee so how how amazing can that be you literally purchase and after for before the end of 14 days if you don't like what you see you can literally get your money back so i think this is an amazing offer you click on buy now it takes you to that page where you get to choose what kind of um, laptop you use or what kind of operating system you're running that's running on your laptop so for me and for the purpose of this video it's a macbook so um, i'll probably have to do another video for the windows download but i'm using the macbook and most of what we'll be showing would be for mac users so uh, pardon me windows users we'll have to do a separate video on that uh so there we go you have your mac you have options to see screenshots what the interface looks like and the capabilities of the software the things it's able to do and they are pretty much amazing uh, so you can literally click on free trial and when you click on that yeah it takes you to the checkout you select your operating system you enter your email address you indicate if you're an existing customer you sign in you enter your account details which had already been stored you know at your first purchase and, and you get the download so when you get the download all you need to do is you do the normal installation on mac like you usually install any dmg file yeah now this is one way to go about downloading the affinity designer software however there was something i noticed now the second way which is to when you go to the mac app store when you go to the Mac App Store, here we are, the Mac App Store, I've realized that when you download Affinity Designer on the Mac App Store or any of the Affinity product softwares from the Mac App Store, the information you have, you, you, you don't, the information you have does not automatically translate or reflect with the uh, information you've created when you downloaded and bought it on the web say like on their page so I don't know how that happened but I think affinity um, creators uh, the developers of this this um, software should have a way to sync this so that it should be able so that you be able to recognize that the same affinity design or the same product I have downloaded on, on the Mac app store you know the same person who downloaded these is the same person who has that so there should be a way to you know sync these two information so having said that i would just search for affinity designer and boom we have it with that being said this is what we're going for this is what we're going for and we click install now mine is showing open because i already have it installed on my mac so you will click install and allow it to and do the necessary authentication and allow it to run then after it has installed you can now click open so i just clicked open and when you click open the first thing you will find is the interface and you have options to click on tutorials to help you better understand affinity designer as a software then you have design samples you can draw inspiration from or pull elements from and that's that but this is just trying to sell other products to us which which is not a bad idea though and you can choose not to show this at the next startup as a startup panel so we close and this is what we have um, for now we are just going to stop here and we'll have to do a separate video to get to understand this different the different um, 
um, sections on this interface. Uh, I am not an Affinity Designer expert. I'm not an Affinity Ambassador. Uh, I am I'm just doing this video just to since for the most part this is the tool I'll be using for my various um, designs that I will be putting up. I'll be uploading on this channel. So I think it's just ideal for me to show you the software I will be using and um, do a video around how I got to download it, install it, and some of the things you get to expect when you when you are um, downloading and syncing your information either on the on their website or through the Mac App Store, so you are not you are not um, caught unawares. So a different video will be done for the different sections before we begin to dive deep into the things we can create in Affinity Designer. So once again. They have not affinity that i have not paid me for didn't pay me for this video i'm doing this out of my own volition um, to help my audience understand a little better so part of what i'll also be doing in subsequent videos around affinity designer would be to to as much as i can as much as i understand explain some of the tools some of the sections on this interface and how i use them and um, I think that captures it for this video. So if you feel you've been thinking about Affinity Designer for a while now and you think you need to make that switch, uh, it's it's an opportunity. This is an opportunity for you. You've seen how I did it. It's an opportunity for you to actually visit their website or go through the Mac App Store, install it and play around with it. You have approximately 14 day, 14 day free, day free trial to explore and see what you can do with the software during the pandemic they did a 90 days free try and that was really really um, um commendable i think this covers it for us thank you